Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am cutting my hair at home. I'm finally giving in and getting a trim for myself at home. So I'm going to follow one of the YouTube videos and I decided to record it just like a vlog session. So if I have any tips or something to share with y'all, you can do that together. I'm going to uh, link the video that I am referring to down below. So let's do this. I'm following this video by Mariam Makilaj. I think her surname is. Hey guys, I'm Mariam. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to do something totally different and it may very well go very wrong. Psych, it actually did not go wrong. It went very right. I just cut my hair on YouTube and I'm super excited with the way that it turned out. Okay, so her hair is like a U trim. Uh, so that's what I usually get. My usual like most common hairstyle like a hair trim that I get is like front fringes and then I get like a slight U from behind. I don't like to get layers because that makes your hair look very thin from behind and I don't want to cut my hair very short. I'm enjoying my hair length so I just want a trim. That's the agenda. Now this could go totally wrong because I've never cut my hair at home. I'm not even one of those people who just stands at the bathroom and just goes chop chop chop. I don't do that at all. I have a very fixed lady who cuts my hair and I'm very anal about that. Like I need her to cut my hair only. Like I don't let anybody touch my hair. And today here we are. So let's see how this goes. Okay. Let's play. Tutorial with you guys. This is for all of you busy women out there. This is students on the go. Busy moms. All you women who are looking to And also one quarantine. Without spending that extra cash. Alright guys. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. And guys, here is everything that I'll be using for this tutorial. A garbage bag to create a little protector for my clothes. A paddle brush. A comb. Paddle brush. Hair scissors. Some hair elastics. Comb. And just some water in a water bottle. Hair scissors. First thing that I'm going to elastic. do is brush this hair to make brush. it as straight as possible. I already washed my hair maybe 40 minutes prior to filming. Yeah, this even I washed my hair 30 dry. minutes back. I'm going to need to spritz it with some water. Get it a little bit more my hair is already down. Take my garbage bag and some scissors, and I'm gonna create a little t-shirt, little protective t-shirt. I'm just not gonna do that. I will mara jhadu after this. I'm gonna try to have all of my hair forward. I'm gonna brush it out one more time, and then I'm going to separate it in the middle. Okay. Break it apart using this comb. I'm gonna keep it as straight and even as possible, so that both sides of my hair are equal. Okay. Meaning that there's the same amount of hair in this side as in this side. Whew. I gotta say, I'm a little nervous. You I'm don't nervous. even call me nervous. I've never done this on camera, so. Oh, I'm on camera. She's damping her hair, but my hair is wet, so that's okay. I find that working with wet hair is much easier than working with dry hair, so that's why I'm doing that. Can you see how long my hair has gotten? It's like uneven right now because I did try to cut it a little bit in the bathroom and it went totally wrong so i need to give myself like a proper proper trim that's why i'm following a proper tutorial right now let's see okay let's go oh she's just going for it hello how do you segment it come on what i'm gonna do is take about this much off okay so she's just taking like the ends and i'm going to chop it off that's so risky. My hair is very thick to do that. I'm so nervous, jeez. Okay, I'm gonna do my own thing. Let's see how it goes. She's taken her entire hair together. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna take part by part and like keep clipping it as I go. So I'm dividing this much of my hair. I think I'll do this side first so you all can see and then I can duplicate it. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna try something on my own, taking inspiration from her but not following the exact same thing. I'm gonna part this much, put this at the back and completely clip this side of my hair. So now from this side, after combing the ends, I'm gonna probably take this much and cut this off. So like wherever I want to go. Okay, this is how much I'm cutting. Probably two inches. Cause that's like the dead part of my hair. 
look at your goals. Your goals, nothing. Okay, I've cut it off. Whew. I think that's too, too short, too short. Okay, I'll even this portion out with the help of my comb. That's what she did. Ends in the comb. Okay, not bad. Looks even to me and yeah, it's short. It went a little short, but anyways, that much of my hair has become very dead right now. Not gotten a haircut in over six months. So, okay. Let's take some more of the hair and then like compare and keep cutting. That's, I think, how they do it at the salon. They keep comparing segments and then going for it. So I'm going to take some more of my hair from behind. And Joby, I'm not taking, I'm going to clip it so that it doesn't get mixed. Can comb it all together. Can I keep the next segment a little longer than this? So maybe I get the U. I don't know exactly how hairstylists do it now. I'm just going for like what feels right to me. So like as compared to this, I'm going to go like probably quarter of an inch more on the next segment. Okay, that was the second segment. You know, doing that with the comb, just take it and like Rotate the comb inwards and under ki or so you can cut it. Okay, so far this is how they look. I think they look decent though. Like, it's not very even like the first two layers and this means there's a lot of difference so I'm just going to just even it out. Ha. Dude I'm just experimenting here. It's like going very short. It's okay let's take the last segment now. I think I'll take this off in two. So simply what I'm doing is comparing the previous cut hair to the new hair and then just cutting somewhere approximately close to that and then evening it out with the comb. So like it's now portion hair and this is my previously cut hair. So I'll cut a little more than that and then I'll just like even them out with the comb. That's what I'm probably that's what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, not bad. Let's take the last segment in. I'm actually really liking it because my hair looks so much more healthier than what it is. And khati khati hai, jayi, but if I out that I knew it would grow back, although I'm very obsessive about who cuts my hair and what I use and stuff like that, but it's okay. Quarantine, I'm losing my mind. Last segment here was nothing. I'm going to turn my hair in. Okay, this is what the final outcome on this side looks. I think I really like it. It look, It's looking bouncy, healthy and nice. And I'm going to cut this also like short. So yeah, my hair will become short, but I think it'll look cute. Uh, I'm just going to cut this side. Now I'm going to show you all how I'm going to try to match both the sides. I'm not watching the video anymore. I'm just doing my own thing from all the parlor experience that I have. So first, let's go in and cut these fringes and make them short. Yeah, that's about it. I'm going to clip the rest of my hair. And I'm going to take the fringes from this side. Put the rest of this side as well. Okay, so this is like what my front fringes were from before. So I'm taking again. I don't want to increase the volume of this. Because I don't know how they take the dimension for this. So I'm just going to go by my previous haircut. And I'm going to cut it up to my chin's length. Because that's what I always get. So, yeah. I'm going to hold this in the press lunch because that's what I see that really doing. I'm literally cutting by experience. Okay, I think this is decent. <laughs> yeah. Fine, this is cool. Now to match both the sides, I'm going to take the front come some more hair. Like the first segment that I cut. That first segment I'm going to take. 
and then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side take the first segment in front so that I have both sides matching I have my front segments over here I'm gonna match them niche se the right to the left and then just take it comb pe get a judgment and cut it off Okay, so I'm gonna divide it back into this place now. Now that I have a judgment on this side, I'm just gonna keep going thoda thoda more in length on this side also, because that's what I did on the right. Thoda short ho gaya, I think. So we'll just take it a little from there. Okay, I'm done with this side as well. Uh, let's open and see if they match up. Okay, okay, I think I'm. I've gotten pretty close. Let's twist them and see if they are both the same length. Oh yeah, I came so close. This is good. That's pretty good. I think this side is a little longer than this side. So crazy idea, but I think it will work. Yeah, this side is a little longer. My left is a little longer than my right. Okay, so itna is like perfect. Thoda sa difference hai bas dono side pe. So we dono side ko I'm gonna hold samne se together and like, guys, I'm not a hair stylist, okay? So I'm just marrying tukka over here. Okay, itna I'm gonna cut off. Do this at your own risk. At home, if you want. Okay. Now let's see. Oh yeah, they are very very identical now. See? Okay, I'm gonna apply some serum and be right back. Applying a little bit of my Biolage serum. Let me just see how short my ponytail has gotten. Cause I had a really long ponytail. Okay, not bad at all. It looks healthy more more than anything. It looks so healthy. My hair has become very unhealthy. Ooh, I like it very much. All right, let's have the reveal from the back. I can't see my hair from the back, but you guys can. So let's take a look. Okay, so you all can see from the back, not me. Let me know how I did in the comments below. I think I fared decent. This is not bad at all. I think I can live with it. Okay, guys, so this is the finished result. I really actually like the hair. It's feeling much more healthier. It feels so much more lighter because so much of like the dead ends are gone and like my hair was really weighing me down. So I'm really liking it. I feel so much more fresh now that I've done this. Uh, so yeah, this was an experiment that did work. I felt like after like cutting, cutting and trying to get them equal, I'm gonna end up with really short hair, but this is not that short. So I'm happy that it didn't go very, very short. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed enjoyed this very like out of the blue video let me know in the comments what do you think how did i fare i think i did a very decent job if you're following this do it at your own very risk uh, i'm not a hair expert i'm not a hair stylist and i know nothing about anybody's hair except my own so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed if you did actually have fun then don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to my channel if you're new here and join the beautiful family we always make sane and proper videos this was just a quarantine experiment that went right it didn't go wrong so i will see you in another video bye guys love you all take care stay home stay safe stay positive Mwah.